Hi, I'm a product manager here at Groundshaw and form part of the team that's been working on one of our newest features, Climate Index, which launched in June 2022. I'm here to talk to you about this exciting new module which is available now in our Home Buyers and Avista reports for residential transactions and our Review, Screening and Site Guard reports for commercial transactions. So what is it? Climate Index is a risk assessment that provides data and guidance about projected physical and transition risks directly related to climate change. Physical risks are risks related to climatic events that could result in physical damage to the property. Transition risks are less obvious but can arise in changes in policy linked to climate change. First, let's talk about our assessment of physical risks. The physical risks currently included in Climate Index are flooding, ground stability and coastal erosion. Now, when you buy a ground shore report that includes Climate Index, you not only get information about the current impact of these physical risks at the property, but also a picture of what that impact might be for the next 30 years of climate change. The Climate Index module provides ratings for future time periods of 5 years and 30 years. We've chosen these increments based on our confidence in the data models available and to align ourselves with the way that lenders consider climate change at the moment. We have also designed this with the length of mortgage terms in mind, with the aim of providing the right information to help influence decisions around future property value and mortgage potential. We provide a risk rating from A to F for each of these time periods. The rating summarises the overall effects of flooding, ground instability and coastal erosion at the property. A rating of A would indicate the lowest level of risk and F the highest. We also provide a more detailed breakdown of risks so you can see which of the physical risks is driving the overall rating. We will also provide guidance and next steps for conveyances based on the ratings for the property. This guidance is also aligned with the recent KC opinion which was provided by Stephen Tromans. Now let's talk about transition risks. Both our residential and commercial reports now include details relating to any energy performance certificates found relating to the property. Residential reports will only show a single EPC if one is found, but our commercial reports can provide details relating to one or multiple EPCs found at the property. Along with the EPC information, we provide focused guidance for property owners relating to letting and energy efficiency regulations that may require you to make improvements to the property. Why did we make Climate Index? For some time, Groundshare has been the forefront of making environmental risks and their associated liabilities more visible to prospective purchasers of residential and commercial properties. As they make important decisions about their future properties, we've produced products designed to present complex information in a way that can be easily digested and understood by anyone who reads it, from the conveyancer to the homeowner. These assessments were based on the data for today's climate. However, our climate is changing and we're becoming more and more aware of the implications of those changes. Some of those changes could cause a material impact within a typical mortgage term. Forecasts of what those future climate conditions might be have got to the point where we're able to make risk assessments on what that means to a property and allow prospective purchasers to consider the resiliency of the property to those forward-looking climate projections. At the moment, many properties in the UK are provided with affordable flood insurance under the Flood Re Scheme. This offers a stopgap to provide time to allow people that live in flood-prone areas to make the necessary preparations. However, no such protection is offered to other climate-related perils. For example, whilst a good building insurance policy would provide cover of damage caused by subsidence, this can be much more difficult to get if the property has suffered from subsidence in the past. Insurance policies are renewed annually and therefore and if an event occurs at some point in the future, this could impact the homeowner's ability to get suitable coverage in the following year. Premiums could rise, which in turn could have a knock-on implication to the mortgageability of the risk to lenders and the value when the property is subsequently sold. Guidance by the Bank of England has required lenders to consider the implication of the increased risk. Who will benefit from Climate Index and how? When we were creating Climate Index, we aimed to create a feature that would benefit everyone. 
We wanted to provide information and guidance that conveyances need to advise their clients about future climate related property risk without also having to become climate change experts. We also wanted to make sure that future property owners of homes and other types of property were informed about what they would likely come up against in the time that they occupied the property and let them know about the future viability of their investment. An investment that may very well be the biggest decision of their life. Overall, we have a grand aim to enable better decision making when it comes to the effects of climate change and lead the way in providing a more smooth transition to a future where climate is a central factor in the property market. Ultimately, climate science and the way that impacts our industry is always changing and we're proud to be the leading the way when it comes to providing this level of guidance about climate change in our reports. So for more information about Climate Index, please visit our website via the link in the description below or you can find us at groundshore.com forward slash climate index. Thank you.